We can do next to nothing about inheritance, but quite a lot to improve the method of use of oneself in order to release the creative urge. And yeah, I feel like that gets to the heart of the heart of a lot of my work. Um, and this brings us to instinct, this brainstorm on instinct. Um, so I was brainstorming a lot with people and in particular with my husband, Maddie Wilkinson, who's also a Feldenkrais practitioner. And I wrote down something he said that I appreciated related to this. He said, when you free yourself from the layers of internal resistance, you get to access your instinctual spontaneous expression. So that kind of also brings us full circle to that original quote. And I've just loved sitting with this idea of instinct and this feeling of connecting to my truth and trusting myself and finding some kind of like, what is that? That animal, it's both, it's interesting because Feldenkrais helps us get back to this natural, more um, getting access to our potential in terms of being human beings and in, in our physical functioning and also our, our ability to use our intelligence to be able to do what we want in our lives. And so that there's this direct correlation between being connected to the animal, instinctual, gut, innate self, and also to be able to reach our potential in terms of expressing what it is that we want to do in this do or be or live in this life as human beings. And uh, the last image is from a logo that I made for the um, upcoming Feldenkrais conference in Washington, D.C., the Art and Science of Transformation. And I feel like this image gets to gets to this uh, imagination and instinct, the brain and the interlacing the toes, which for those of you that are new to Feldenkrais, um, if you stick around long enough, at some point you'll interlace your toes together. 